Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and let's count together now. Nazoth the Corrupter played once by my opponent. Nazoth the Corrupter played twice. And... Oh look! Oh look! Nazoth the Corrupter played for a third time. But I'll wait for it. Oh look! I get to play my Nazoth the Corrupter. Fancy that. But of course it's too late, because look, a fourth time my opponent plays Nazoth. That had to be one of the longest games that I've ever participated in. Even Anubarak could not save me, which is such a shame, because I love playing Anubarak, I really do. Such a fun card. Um, but yeah, Nazoth Priest can be absolutely insane, and in case you're wondering, my priest opponent played Nazoth four times due to Shifting Shade. He stole my Nazoth <laughs> four times and just kept bringing back uh, the Shifting Shade with each Nazoth and then s continuing to kill his Shifting Shade and steal the Nazoth that was in my deck. The logic on that is absolutely insane, but I survived! Hey, this deck here, Cardinal Xe's Nazoth Priest, let me survive four... Four Nazoths being played by my priest opponent. So hey, this must be a good deck, right? If I survived that long. I don't know how I did, but I did. Anyway, this deck is a good one. It is Nazoth Priest on wild mode. Okay, on wild mode. You play your Death Rattle minions, Sludge Belcher, Sylvanas, and so on. Museum Curator will draw you some Death Rattle minions too, which is pretty good. Uh, you've got your usual board clears, light bombs times two, entomb times two, it's really good. Uh, particularly in wild mode, you know, stealing Dr. Boom, stealing a Sludge Belcher, stealing a Tyrion, hey, that feels good. Uh, we've got Alcanized Soul Priest with the Circle of Healing combo, uh, which is pretty awesome against Zudex. Uh, one copy of Shadow Word Death, one copy of Shadow Word Pain, always useful to have. So very much a control style priest with Death Rattle minions, basically. And uh, of course there is Zombie Chow in this deck. Now, uh, Zombie Chow, one of the best one drops in the game, if you get it down early for controlling the board. Now it's not something that you want brought back by Nazoth, because you don't want to heal your opponent in the late game. Game. However, Zombie Chow is okay here because it does combo with the Orcanized Soul Priest. So you can do 5 damage uh, to your opponent on the Death Rattle rather than healing them for 5. So, yeah, not a bad deck. Nicely composed. Uh, very good defensive plays. And of course, the tremendous value that you get from Nazoth the Corruptor. And you don't even need all of your Death Rattle minions back. Just a couple, like a Sylvanas and a Belcher, is plenty value. So let's have a look at this deck on the Wild Mode Ladder. Um, a number of my viewers on my YouTube channel have expressed the fact that um, I'm one of the few... Uh, you know, YouTube content producers for Hearthstone that, that spends a lot of time producing wild mode content. Uh, apparently it's something that people are crying out uh, for. So, you know, I'm happy to oblige and I'm happy to produce more wild mode content if it's what people want to see. And uh, based on the feedback that I've received so far on wild mode videos that I've produced, yeah, people like to see me playing wild mode. And of course, last season I got Legend on wild mode using Midrange Hunter or Nazoth Midrange Hunter. So <clears throat> we'll continue. Anyway, into this game here against a warrior. <clears throat> Already getting value on the weapon there, which is not a good sign. And taking these really early aggressive plays. Shadow Word Pain would be really nice there for the Frothing Berserker. But it isn't going to happen, so we need to draw a card here. Okay, so a 3-6 Dark Cultist. Can he kill it? Of course he can. <laughs> of course he can. <clears throat> this is a very aggressive variant of Warrior. Incredibly aggressive, and you can see already, just on these early turns now, I'm down to 20 health. And that frothing is scary. Thankfully though, we have Shadow Word Death for that frothing berserker once it grows. 
I'll tell you what would be really good right now. Organize Soul Priest to go with Circle of Healing. But yeah, that froth thing is just growing. Um, and look, yeah, he's, he's, he's doing what I hoped he would do. <laughs> he sacrificed his entire board just to buff the frothing up. But now I can kill it, which is fine. And I think we need to heal ourselves here. <laughs> We're in danger. Uh, we are putting ourselves in danger of being killed by Gromash. Uh, not now, but uh, in a couple of turns time. So, wow, he's just going to go face, isn't he? Of course he is. Oh, look, he gets the weapon too. The weapon buff um, on the Blood Cell Raider. Sure. Um, yeah, not the... Not the nicest of situations, but Sludge Belcher there, really, really good. It's basically just saved us. Um. Okay, so. He'll have to trade a minion in. He'll have to trade his face in. Um, into the first half of the Belcher. And then he'll have to trade his other minion into it. Into the slime. So we can survive here, potentially, but it depends on what else he has in that hand. Okay, a taunt, sure. Okay, and this is where this priest deck really shines. Okay, no Cabal, no Cabal target there, really unfortunate. But yeah, I'll say it again. This is where this priest deck can really shine, because... Sure, we're really low on health, but if we can make that comeback... And draw some cards. And we can play cards like Death Lord. Yeah, pretty good. Death does not scare me. Okay, death does not scare him, apparently. And we make the trades, sure. And I'm even going to consider using Flash Heal on my face. Because I'm scared of dying. Oh, and he concedes. Okay. I had nothing to be scared of. Death Lord, Sludge Belcher, two of the best taunts in wild mode. Okay, so that was a fun game. Um, rank 11 here again on wild mode. Let's have a look at this game against a warrior. So, Norshire Cleric, Zombie Chow in the opening hand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, in warrior games, it's all dependent on... Oh, God. It's a ha-ha. I was going to say, it's all dependent on Fari War Axe on turn two. Um, obviously, in this situation, he's played a ha-ha, a South Sea Deckhand. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Concede. Yeah, great. Oh, well, this deck's really good against Warriors, clearly. Uh, well, maybe this hunt is going to provide a bit more of a challenge. Um, and this was actually day one of the July season. Uh, day one of the July season, and uh, this deck helped me to get from whatever rank it was. I started off at 17 or whatever it was. Uh, you know, up to up to rank 11 pretty easily here. Um, there's my good friend. I like cabbage. Um, a hunter with a leper gnome. Okay, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the weirdness of Wild Mode Ladder on day one of the season. You go up against Face Hunter. As in, the old school Face Hunter playing leper gnome. Yes, that old favourite that used to wreck people back in the day because people couldn't survive the damage. Yes, old school Face Hunter with leper gnome. Oh, he didn't have a play. Great, that's fine. <clears throat> right away. We kill the Leper Gnome. Draw a card, I guess. Um, I'm contemplating Curator here, just for another body on board. I think that's better here, because the Cleric is at full health. Um, and we have Circle of Healing, so we can heal and get more cards. How is he going to kill that Cleric? Oh, oh. okay. Ah. Uh, Huffer. Oh! Didn't kill the cleric. Wow, okay. Um, it's a face hunter, right? So, of course. But you know what's really interting here? 
I can kill this Huffer and my Cleric survives. How often can you say that your Northshire Cleric survives uh, an encounter with Huffer? Yeah, not bad. Kill, oh, okay. Put this apple on your head and another hero power. So this is a this is a hunter that is really valuing the hero power here. Or he just doesn't have the cards. But okay. How do we deal with this? The trade seems absolutely sensible here. And um I guess we just fill the board. Yeah. We're playing to unleash the hounds. I have not cast Circle of Healing yet. And the reason is, I've got Arcanine Hand, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe we should just hang on to that circle. That is my get out of jail card if he floods the board here. So let's see what he's got. Ooh, secret. Okay, so if this is the face hunter that I'm thinking of, of course, there's another leper gnome, that has to be Explosive Trap. So maybe I do play Circle of Healing after all then, to, to not only draw cards, but to heal up the the Chow and to heal up the uh, the Cleric. The other consideration is sort of a cute play with Orcanai Soul Priest on board and to throw the Chow into the Explosive Trap and do far damage, but at this stage in the game, damaging him is not really you know, uh, sort of a, 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 a priority. What I've got to think about here is surviving and ma really maintaining my health total. Because I'm at 17 and we're heading into my turn 5. And that's that's reasonably scary. Particularly if he's got Unleash the Hounds, Kill Commands, things like that. Because I've got four minions on board, so I need to be careful. Okay, it is Explosive Trap. That is uh, pretty much confirmed. So we are going to circle here. Yes, we are. Okay. And we're going to heal our face because, well, we like our face and we don't want to die. And uh, this is this is the problem here. Roping. <laughs> oh, it is explosive. Roping um, and sort of getting very confused. <clears throat> but we are up to 20 health. We have Holy Nova for more card draw <laughs> if we really want to heal the minions on our board. We have Orcanai Soul Priest now for 10 damage to his face. We're heading to this point against sort of a face hunter where it's... Oh, it definitely is face hunter. Look at the wolf rider to the face. He's, even, he's, he's ignoring my board because he's got a wolf rider there. Amazing. Uh, choosing not to trade, just choosing to go face. We're at that turning point now against the mid-range hunter where we can claw the game back into our favour and we can start being aggressive. The question is, how do I want to do this? If I play Holy Nova and I draw cards, I'm going to overdraw. And we don't want to do that. Uh, we don't want to do that. So, I think here we just... We give him the health back, it's fine, honestly. For the time being, I'd actually value not having Arcanai Soul Priest on board, because I want to heal my face. Uh, what am I at? 16, so... I do value my life now. Um, even though we have a Belcher in play, I mean, look, he is clearing it. But from this position, oh look, there's another circle. <clears throat> from this position, I think it's going to be quite hard for us to lose this game. Um, the hunter would need to surprise us surprise with something interesting. Um, I mean, there is a consideration for Call of the Wild. I'm going to make the assumption that he plays that on turn 8. I think against any hunter now, you have to make that assumption that Call of the Wild uh, is a thing. My fate is this is fine. Nice and slow. Control the board. So, I presume he'll bump into the slime with the weapon. I but we still have that Holy Nova. 
that I think could end up being our saving grace, but he's clearly stumped here. He's not sure what to do. And Face Hunter, it's one of those interesting decks or classes or deck types, whatever you want to call it. You know quite early on whether you've lost the game or not. And sure, even though he's putting me down now, like still going face, even though he's putting me down to 11, looking at my hand, Holy Nova, plus my hero power, can heal for four. That should just put me out of range of anything ridiculous. <clears throat> so I think we, we hold it over first, and the reason is, whatever that secret is... Oh, it's freezing. Wow. We get it out of the way. Okay, we get it out of the way. I like Cabbage saying, oh crap, double death lord. Yeah. Uh, Double Death Lords will exhibit that, uh, will bring out that emotion of, oh crap, what do I do? Um, I should know, I, I play Double Death Lord in this deck. Uh, <clears throat> still being the aggressor. Still being the aggressor. Um, another taunt would be, oh look, speaking of another taunt, there it is, called it. It's interesting, um, I'm about to play a Belcher here, and uh, he's saying that he's needing to play a Belcher in the game that he's playing. Um, <clears throat> so a nice running commentary there from I Like Cabbage for his game that he's playing. Valuing the hero power every single turn here. And not being too desperate to fill the board. Simply because we want to play around Unleash the Hounds. <clears throat> so Sludge Belcher has done so much work for us in this game now. Um, so I guess we just go for minions now that can damage. Um, and Shifting Shade, which has four attack. You know, that, that, that does damage. Huge Toad here. Eh, not bad, but we go for the Shifting Shade. Four attack, three health is decent. And uh, we have the Slime in play. We have four minions in total, so Unleash would be six. I guess Unleash KC Hero Power to kill me, maybe? Or would it? Uh... Oh, look, there it is. There it is. It's amazing just how close this game actually was. Considering that I had Sludge Belcher. You know? It's really interesting. But, um, yeah. Death by Orkney, there we go. Yeah. Not a bad game. So, beating traditional face hunter, I guess you could call it traditional face hunter, with the wolf riders and all, and getting a win streak. Hey, pretty good deck. So, yeah, that is uh, Cardinal XC's Nazoth Wild Mode Priest.